by GMC. We are professional grade. Kalen shows that there's life after a slow start for both sides. Yeah, I mean, these are two different teams from when they met to Ben Teke up top. He is the centerpiece, the one they can find as that safety valve to play direct and then bring others into play. Bringing in Durkin, Kuti Pietro, and Cleves in space well. He's going to have to be the one to facilitate and find moments to make a difference for a four and last year. And Scott Saputo. So away we go from the side of the All-Star game, coming up in July, Audi Field in Washington ship. Hasn't occurred yet. O'Brien with a touch. Out wide. Go to the 18. On net. And the Mace and the stop made by Sirwa for just unable to get that last touch. Header! And a goal! Rising up for it for DC United is Donovan Pines. 1-0, D.C. They get the first goal tonight against Montreal. It comes from the short corner here. They play it short, find it to click with good service over the top, and Donovan Pines just gets up so well, elevates 6-5, the center back, finds the right trajectory towards that back post. It comes at such a crucial time for D.C., We've been able to apply pressure, especially from wide areas. And the set piece, the center back, comes through in a big way right before halftime to give DC United the lead they so desperately needed. This season, just 1-7 overall for 6-8, which draws for CF Montreal in 2023. Away we go. Durkin crosses. Paulson, in 18, Benteke, knocked down, fired on net, deflection! Ted Pietro for DC United, and the home side with a 2-0 lead against Montreal. And then, Kale Carr, you can say. Well worked here from DC United, swinging it side to side, using that whip. Cuts it back across to Benteke, and it's always going to be the secondary option. Cudi Pietro does so well there just to track that one as it comes off for anything to knock down. Gets the first one right and just guides it to that back post. It stood up well from Paulson, and Benteke is always going to challenge, but when you have two center backs drop onto him, that's going to leave a third man as an option, and Cudi Pietro happy to take it. Steps up in the moment that matters always, just 21. well along with... Sudisi Ibrahim and the spots he'll take of Duke as well as Lapalainen for Montreal. Man down as well for the visitors in the box. I, l I looked over at exits to a big hand from the crowd at Audi Field. Yeah, well deserved as well. Cody Pietro, a fan favorite here. Of course, the homegrown has scored some important goals. Lassner, header, and it's in! Ibrahim times it and scores, and Montreal within one here in the 80th minute. Now, you can see here it comes with a, just a wonderful ball in from Lassiter, who gets to the end line and stands it up for Ibrahim, who does a fantastic job just lobbing it over. Mil Kuda Pietro, last year's leading goal scorer for East United. Misplay, Ibrahim stuck in there, Pines misplayed it, the cross, top of the six, and they score! It's Lassiter from Ibrahim! Two goals to tie it in two minutes! Wow! Two all at Audi Field, it's change, courtesy of Montreal! Their head for one minute, how quickly one can, can become two, comes from the direct ball from Waterman, and a failed clearance here from Pines, you have to say, it's a big miss there. Just ask that question, it's a wonderful ball in behind there from Ibrahim to find Lassiter. And just in an instant, when you think DC have this game in for now, all the way out, Santos serves it in. Benteke header is wide! It's another opportunity here for DC United, and Waterman is late to release here, unable to stop that service. And if you allow that ball in the box to Benteke, you're asking for trouble there. That just goes to come in, find that space in the box, and from there, compounded their mistake by staying switched off. Next thing you know, one becomes two. Montreal right back in and get rewarded with an incredible road result here. One point for an endless